Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are here at the Acton Fairgrounds for a car show. Just uh, registered the truck and I'm gonna go slap this on there and go see what's here. All right, so that's a little bit of a rarity for me. We got the uh, the hood open. To be judged at the show, you have to have your hood open. So whatever, it's a, kind of a cool thing. They want you to open your trunk, but I can't because uh, we still got to finish the uh, bed box setup, which you guys haven't seen on the channel. You'll see it soon. I got to finish up a video for that. But anyway, we're going to get into this car show now. Here's the uh, engine bay on the purple truck. Nothing crazy. EGR delete, header back exhaust, aluminum radiator. Pretty much it. I mean, just uh, got a little work to do still. But check out this thing right next to us. This is a pretty sick, a 1948 Ford, I think Angela. But uh, wow, the full dish wheels. And one thing I noticed that was pretty, pretty insane on this side of the, uh, the car, we're gonna check it out. We got a little V8 stuffed in there. Wow, big uh, high rise intake manifold. And look at this door setup. So obviously it's a four door car, but it's so small. He just made it like a, essentially a coupe with four doors if that makes much sense to put into words but it's beautiful very very cool ride a little trunk uh, open right there this is sweet i i really like that i love the work that was put into keeping it so it looks like a four door but it's just all one door right over here is a 1964 f100 pickup and uh got the uh you know like the the unit nose i'm gonna call it a unit nose where it's all one big unit with your fender hood grill and it folds right up showing the uh beautiful v8 cool setup for the aluminum radiator i like how that i like how that sits and the paint especially this is a uh, another beautiful ride oh, i mean look at the i'm gonna call it kind of like a scallop paint job goes all throughout the doors around the dash beautiful with the uh the full moon kind of caps and then back here we got a shaved uh roll pan that goes in this is this is sweet I, I really like this and i'm sure that's probably the battery box so right over here we're at the special interest class now and we got this uh old chevy scottsdale in 86 but look at this thing part next to it this thing is a monster i don't know what it is I'm gonna assume maybe some sort of international. Don't don't hate me on it, don't quote me on it. But yo, but look, look, this is me compared to this thing. This thing makes me look tiny, bro. So I figured it out. This monster of a machine is not an international. It's actually called an Oshkosh. The only place I've seen it badge at is right there on the front of, uh, axle case. So right over here, this is pretty sweet too. It's a uh, little uh, trike with a Volkswagen Beetle engine in the back here, a little air-cooled engine. That's pretty cool to see. Then we have this beautiful yellow 77 Love. So another favorite, a bias. The mini trucks are always cool. Another pretty sweet ride is this uh, 68 Chevy van. Set up as a, uh, kind of like a camper. Got your little fridge, your seats in the back. Actually two rows, and I'm sure they fold out into beds of some sort. Very cool. Oh, I love the color on the 62 Doom Buggy. That is wild. A lot of flake. Beautiful colors, man. Best seats, too. And we got this uh, older Ranger. It's a 78. And uh, it's just funny to think, again, that the Ranger was a full-size truck back in the day. And then, of course, we can't walk past the flip and customized truck. One thing I noticed, actually... I know we've featured this truck before, but one thing I noticed today is this keg is this fuel tank. I didn't realize that before. Big fan of that. I still want to know what this hook came off of. I think it's massive, or how much it weighs even. And right over there is an old school uh, 90s build Mitsubishi Eclipse. And uh, funny enough, Lexus truck was too big to fit down the road for the 4x4 class, so they have her off to the side over here. We're looking at some of the cars that are like uh, early 30s to late 40s. This is a uh, 37 Dodge. Right over here we got a lot of the older Fords too. Always a big fan. This one's a 30. You can always tell by the, uh, the plates are good indications sometimes. Look at that, a little uh, straight four. A couple different 30s Fords over here. We got a uh, 31 right here. A 25. Oh, and I love the color on this one. It's a 31. Nice little two-tone between the blue and the black. Oh, that 
that is sweet. And the white walls, top it all. all right, another pretty uh, interesting ride. So this is a 37 Packard. And uh, big fan, it just stands out because you know, all the other cars are so nice, they're beautiful cars. But this just stands out to me. I, I don't know what it is. I love the big back trunk. Got some wooden panels. One thing I love too is the horn right there. Nice little uh, Chevy V8 in there. This car is even equipped with a uh, sunroof and the uh, square tube front bumper. This is kind of an oddity too. This is a 48 Mercury. I'm gonna walk on down this, pretty cool body lines. Something I need for my truck. The rubber there kind of helps with the uh, rock chips. I don't know what the case was for back in the day, but on anything that sticks out like that, oh man, that would help big time for rock chips. Nice wood dash. That's pretty interesting actually. I feel like you uh, you don't ever see wooden dashes like that. Over here we have a 28 Ford with a beautiful stance. Kind of like the orange wheels because they go with the orange stripes that go down the side of the uh, side of the ride. But right here, this is pretty crazy too. I heard this has a uh, a Viper engine in it. Oh man, that is nasty. Imagine stuffing that into this thing. All right over here, we have a '68 Dodge Coronet. Definitely has some uh, some work put into this thing. Wow, with the uh, Magnum 440, everything's all painted up, very clean. Love the vents on the old Dodges. Full black interior, black leather. Super cool, man. Full setup with the stripes and everything. Oh, it just doesn't get any more old school. Never seen one of these before, actually. Just, uh, you know, I love the old school commuter car sometimes because they're just getting harder to find, but this is a little Dodge Shadow. Right on this side is a 67 Plymouth Barracuda. Love a little emblem. And it's uh, obviously a drop top. You got your V8 in there. And right on the other side of it is a 73 Plymouth Barracuda with the uh, 440. Love the display. Oh, and right over here we have another Plymouth Barracuda. I'm not sure on the year of this one. This is one of the old school ones. It's a 66. With the, uh, the long fastback roof. And another cool Mopar is the 69 Plymouth Roadrunner. So right here is an old school Toyota Land Cruiser, but I don't think I've ever seen this before. This is really common out in Japan with the older Japanese vehicles. It's a diesel, big straight six too, it looks like. I'm gonna walk around, check this thing out. A lot of room in the back. And while we're on to the old school Toyotas, it doesn't get any cooler than the Forerunners with the, with the removable back top, the seats in the back with the, with the uh, roll bar. Oh. I love that. Big four wheel drive. Obviously we're in the four wheel drive class. This is uh, quite the ride. Really like the two tone on this 69 Ford F100. Some beautiful colors right there. Oh, again, it's an old school Ranger. When you guys the Chevys, we have the K5 Blazer. An old uh, GMC regular cab short bed four by four. And on this side is this monster 86 K10 Chevy. Always a big fan of that, that roof uh, spoiler too. It's always a cool look on this truck. This thing is massive though. And right in front of it is this uh, four door long bed dualies. I think this is the two wheel drive truck class. I didn't really see one for that. We'll figure out what class is in a minute. All right, so the class that dualies was in, this is the, uh, the stock truck class. One with a little 302. Pretty cool to see. Just walking down the line now. Letting you guys just see some of the trucks that showed up. Ooh, this one's got a pretty cool metallic uh, paint job down the side of it. See some of the sparkle. It's always hard to see the metallic paints on camera. And another big personal favorite is the Little Red Express. Cool enough, it's right behind the purple truck. We have the purple Barracuda, they're getting closer. I'm gonna figure out the tone difference and who's lighter and who's this darker shade of purple. But always an awesome car to see. Oh, I didn't even notice the intake manifold even. It was painted kind of like a violet color. But these are the other two trucks in the stock truck class. And over here we have a 67 Camaro, it's an RS. And right over here is a 68 Pontiac. And what I like about both these cars is they have some wicked stance. This one's got a little bit of poke. And even this one's got some good meat in the back there as well. 
couple a uh, couple different Pontiac Firebirds, a uh, '69 RS Camaro. I know I could just look it up, but it's always fun having conversations with you guys. If you guys know the difference between the RS and the SS, and back in the day, it's a little different than what we have now. Let me know. Ooh, we got a third gen Camaro, and the Mustang class is probably my favorite one I've seen. Is the '67 Fastback? It's a small radiator actually for this car. But beautiful color on this. I mean, you just you can't knock these fastbacks, man. On SS Kragers. Ah, beautiful. Over here we have the 51 shoebox Ford. Little V8. Always cool to say. Damn. So that one's a 59 Dodge Power Wagon, but it's cool seeing two of them together and i'm sure they're probably about the same year and right over here is an old school little orange willies probably 30s another shoebox ford right here it's a custom the full moons i wanted to assume this one was a 50. it is nice next to the 51 look at that got them both on frame right here is a 32 five window coupe i love it so right here is a 31 ford model a pickup I love that. I feel like we don't have a lot of pickups around here. This Betty is tiny too. And right on this side is a 1929 Ford 500 Coupe again. It's pretty sweet. Love the header setup on this too. To the side pipe. Some of the blue powder coating too. Goes really well with the gray. Right on this side we have a, a little Nomad. I got this old school Mercury. I'm gonna say this is probably, a, mm, I'd say mid early 50s. And right back here, we have a 58 Plymouth Belvedere. Very, very, very similar to the Fury. Just kind of a package difference, if anything. Just talking to the owner of this car, this is a pretty sweet ride. He's done everything as far as drivetrain. I mean, just look at this. It's a 56 Chevrolet Bel Air. Right over here is a uh, pillarless 57 Chevrolet Bel Air. All right, I think we're over towards the, uh, I'm gonna say the old school Chevy row right now, probably 50s cars, but this is a 55 Bel Air. Gorgeous color on it. A little bit of restoration pictures. Need to make a post like that for my truck. I think that would do really well. Right over here's another 57 pillarless Bel Air. A little red punch buggy. Got another uh, 55 Chevy, the old Ranchero, and a, another 55 Chevy. Right over here is the old school Ford Good Humor ice cream truck. Look at that, powered by a straight set. Over here is this old school Packard, little four door. Beautiful, big and round. <laughs> All right, so we're walking around now. Right now there's a, I don't think I'll get copyrighted for the music playing, so we're just gonna kind of walk through these rows a little quickly, but it's a 442 and an Oldsmobile. Right over here, we have the Studebaker Avanti. Oh, I love the color on this car. Look the size of that engine, too. Some beautiful metal flake in that paint. Oh, full cage interior. Bucket racing seats. Oh, boy. And then there's this. I realized I forgot to say the name of the car. It's a 66 Chevelle. Right over here is this regular cab short bed. Uh, probably a 67 Chevy. It's a 68 with the LS in here. Super clean, man. There's some real time put into this. The black bench seat. And the color. And right on this side is a 72 Monte Carlo. Love the old school Montes. Right there. Very easy to tell, it's a 66 Pontiac GTO. Love the, I've always loved the girls on those, the two girls. So here's a 1970 Buick Skylark, but it gets so insane. Right here, big LS swap with a fat turbo. Wow. Hey, we got an old Parkwood here. These are always fun to see. Beautiful color on it. Got an old school Nova. Right over here is a 75 Chevrolet Vega Cosworth Edition. 
bumper over here is a 60 Chevrolet Impala. Ooh, we got ourselves a little uh, Ford Fairlane 500. This is old school. You don't see too many of these around here. This is, okay, this is probably my favorite thing that I've seen here all day, hands down. A bagged Chevrolet Apache wagon. Wow. Look at the patina on this. Oh, with the barn doors. Man. Wow, that's quite the ride. Wow, would love, would love to like meet the owner of this. This is cool, cool, man. I see the inside of this. Wow. The aluminum panels for door panels and everything. And a lot of space back there. Right over here is a 1970 AMC Javelin. This was uh, this was this man's uh, high school car back in the day. Oh, this is so sick to see. It's a uh, it's an old school Jaguar E-Type. This one is a 1970, powered by a dual overhead cam. I think straight six. When we come back here, I never noticed the door setup on this. How it folds up instead of like straight out, you a little barn door kind of thing. We got a little Buick Electra wagon, and then a couple Monte Carlos. This one right here is an 87 SS. We got a white 84 SS. They're all rocking the uh, headlight covers. Even this guy uh, at one point had some. It's a 87 Monte Carlo SS. Gotta get my little brother one of these. Pants to match his, that'd be pretty cool. Another gorgeous Roadrunner. These cars are so beautiful. Probably one of my favorite old school Mopars. Got a 65 El Camino and this little uh, orange regular cab short bed Chevy. We didn't come to the acting fair to not get a blooming onion. So uh, here we are. Can't wait to eat this. Back to cars. Right over here, we have a 55 Thunderbird powered by a Ford V8. I love the tin strip, even on the convertible glass. That's so sick. I feel like people don't really uh, think to put that kind of um, time into something like that. It looks really good on this car, especially with the black. Love the interior. I'm gonna go out to the back here. Super iconic. Another little interesting thing is it looks like this car at one point spent some time out in Hawaii. We're walking back by the truck now. I just wanted to give a quick uh, quick notice to how beautiful the sky is. All the lights in the fairground are opened up now. Everything's on. We grabbed some food, looked at some animals. Now we're gonna keep walking around a little. In second place. Wow, this thing is beautiful. Crazy to see it. Like I said, probably my favorite thing here, for sure. Beautiful ride, man. Oh yeah. That's probably gonna be the finisher for the video right there. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. If you wanna see some more mini truck car show content in the future, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.